a uh, Joey Chestnut another win at the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest on July 4th, of course. Yeah. What did he eat? 76 hot dogs, which was a record. He broke his own record. And then somebody challenged him yesterday to drink an entire two-liter bottle of Coca-Cola, and he did it without real problems. Although I watched the video all the way through, and uh, it took him longer than I thought it was going to. Yeah, he didn't just drain the bottle. I mean, he drank it like you would drink a bottle of soda, just not stop. Yeah, exactly. But it was two liters. Yeah, and I, I, you know, uh, in the old days, if you remember an old uh, Super Bowl commercial, Mean Joe Green in the 70s drank a Coca-Cola in front of a kid. It was one of the most popular commercials of all time and gave the jersey to the kid yeah. Yeah. at the end. It was, you know, classic TV commercial. But he had to guzzle the bottle on yeah. camera. Yeah, and uh, that was real. I saw outtakes of that. You've probably seen that, too, mm-hmm. where he had to drink like 15 or 16 Cokes. Yeah. And he bur- after a few of them, he burped. <laughs> yeah. And you're not. <laughs> I know. Well, imagine two liters. Yeah. What was, um, Mean Joe had, what, a 16-ounce bottle? You know, it's a... Uh, it I guess it's the old glass, bo- glass bottle. Mm-hmm. Probably 16. 16 ounces. Thinking. Well, this is two liters, and it was put up on TikTok, so there's music under it and everything. So I told Big, you know, it takes him a minute to uh, drink it. So we just have the very end where he is finishing the two-liter bottle of Coca-Cola and the aftermath. <laughs> Woo! All right, now is the burp. <laughs> Chestnut. <laughs> champion. That's a champion. The ladies love That's him. That's what it takes. <laughs> My God. It's not just all the glamour of the mustard belt. No, no, it's not. It's not. You have to do way more yeah. than you're We thinking. only see him one day a year most of the time. <laughs> That's right. Occasionally you'll get a tamale eat off. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make a special appearance. That's I wonder right. if he does, like, you know how Springsteen will once in a while just go to a really small a club, club and play? I wonder if Chestnut ever just goes to like a minor league baseball game and says, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You look familiar. Nope. <laughs> like Bubba sure. Watson with golf. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, I heard there's a tournament going on here today. Yeah, you really that. look familiar. I don't, I don't know, know why. what you're talking about. <laughs> you just ate 80 hot dogs in two minutes. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I had to tell my son, we were watching footage of the Nathan's hot dog eating contest, mm. and he said, I want to be a professional <laughs> eater. And I said, I don't know. I don't know that's going to pay the bills. I mean, yes, Joey Chestnut, yes. But You know, if you just fast forward 20 years... My dad told me I could never do this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him now. Well, he'll rip the a burp. doubters, the haters. Now he'll. <laughs> My dad told me it would never work out, and then he's a professional eater twenty years from now. I told him that, and I also warned him against going into any of these like small time eating contests because like we, wings yeah, and such. Because people get choked. I oh, mean, yeah. we have seen people lawsuits where people have died mm-hmm. while trying to do this. We've supervised our last. Yes. Eating competitions. Once Chris Dim was sprayed with a fine mist. A hooter wing. Hooter. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was the last sound I heard before mm. it was splattered on me. Ugh. <laughs> At a boat show? A boat show. <laughs> How appropriate. It was yeah. a different year. One year they had the water skiing squirrel, which... Defecated on Chris Dim's head. Yeah. head. He had it up on. They, they, you know how Chris Dim it. They said, "Let's put the water skiing squirrel on your head." And he's like, "No, nah. well, what? Too there, late." There it is on his head, and bam! I guess it sensed your discomfort <laughs> and immediately defecated. Eliminated. Was it right Twiggy? Now. Yeah, Twiggy the water skiing. <laughs> your bad luck, man. Squirrel. And then that year, a guy actually he ate you know twelve wings in five minutes or whatever it was. And they were the hot wings, and he said, "Oh God, oh God!" And then. <laughs> All over, and it's it's just a fine. Sorry about your boat. <laughs> just spray of ranch and blue cheese. It sounded. Woo! All right, now is the burp. <laughs> oh yeah, a little <laughs> left over there. At the end. Hey, my, is your son a fast eater? I don't know his dad is. Like his father? No, not as much. No, well, usually I put a fairly healthy meal. On. What he does, it's so disappointing. Is I'll, I'll put a decent meal on the table every night. He always called me disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> My dad said I was a disappointment. He will. Uh, I'll show him. You know, I'll put out there pork chops and mashed potatoes, and he'll just pick at it and pick at it and move it around the plate and eat a third of it. And then... Three hours later, I can hear him banging around in the kitchen. He's making ramen. Or I told you to pizza. quit making dinner. I, I mean, I, I'm wasting I never food. used to eat dinner with my parents. I mean, it got to a point when you're 15, 16. I just eat when I wanted to eat, and then hmm. yeah, but that's our runaway train. That's our. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's our team. Wow, that just said a lot about Dave. <laughs> Somebody, somebody load We're... up the soul asylum. <laughs> that's our together time. I don't care about well together time. time. No, 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 you've got enough together time watching basketball or doing whatever. I would get out of class, and me and my friend Eric would run down to Arby's and eat two beef and cheddars with bacon. <laughs> no, no, And then no, go no. home and eat dinner? No. No, no, that's our together. That's a day well, bacon. You could still sit with you. All right, now is the burp. <laughs> that's you dave that's dave at 15 and i hadn't even eaten dinner <laughs> there's the second arby's roast beef no that's the time we spend together with his sister that's his sacrosanct. mother that's sacrosanct that's our you're setting yourself up for disappointment every day i have been 16 years <laughs> 16 years uh, you'll tell you what he did last night my son we uh no i'm sorry this is a couple of nights ago we had watched our Breaking Bad. Mm. We had gone to bed. Just the two of you. Just the two. That's another. That's together time. That is together we'll time. Well, make that main together time. Last night I was explaining. Uh, this is a different story. I was explaining to him money laundering, which were really. Oh, the car wash. We're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're getting in now to trying to launder money. And mm. the lawyer's explaining. So I paused. And I said, do you know what money laundering is? And he said, a little. And he said, explain it to me. Say, so, well, if you make money illegally, like a drug dealer, you've got to funnel it through a legitimate business so it looks like your profits are legitimate so the IRS doesn't take a look, police don't take a look. And he goes, oh, like Mattress Firm. And I said, no, 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 no. And apparently that's a thing that people say, Mattress Firm, because there's so many of them, they're like all of them, it's a front for something. Yeah, they're on every block. Yes, and he said, oh, like Mattress Firm. So that even he, even my teenager knows something about that. Now, here's what he did two nights ago, laying in bed with my wife, hooked up to my machine, breathing. Sexy. This anniversary night? Fast asleep. <laughs> this was our anniversary. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I was, it was probably 11.30, and he came walking in. He goes, emergency, emergency, my phone, my phone. And I sit up. Yeah. I think there's a burglar in the house. Mm. I get out of bed. My machine is tethered to me. You know, I can't. <laughs> And it broke oh, you back like a dog on a leash. <laughs> yeah, he's done something, and his phone now is is dead. I mean, I don't even know. Re I really don't even know what he's done. But his phone has died completely. He set himself up to be a beta test for some new operating system on his own, and Ooh, and uh, he said oh, I can get he could get something free by doing that, and uh, just off the internet. It came to his phone, I guess. I don't even know. I really don't know. But he said, it's not working. It's not working. And he had a fantasy football pre-draft <gasps> last night. And he, he was like, I can't get in this pre-draft. And he was so upset. And it's 1130. I said, son, it's 1130. I have to get up in just a few hours. And his mother was beside herself. And she said, well, what? She said, well, I." He, she entered his Apple password. And he goes, oh, I changed it. And she had it memorized. And she said, what did you change it to? And he goes, I don't know. remember. <laughs> Does well, he really not remember? Or does he not want to say? No, he yeah. I, well, he it, says he doesn't remember. It sounds very sketch. I don't. I think he would tell us if he, because he keeps trying to remember. Well, you only have like you, you know, get X number of tries. tries. Right. He's and every time you try it, it says locked out for another one hour. You can't try it for another hour. <laughs> <A> whole hour. <laughs> so yesterday they went to the Apple Store, and uh, they told him it will be a week to two weeks before they can retrieve everything and get, I, I, they went, and my wife apparently stood there for two hours and they said, it'll be it'll, almost, it'll be two weeks before we can get everything back. And she said, he quietly wept in the store. <laughs> <laughs> people, real emotion, real emotion. And people were coming around them. They were both crying and people were coming around. Them I'll, I'll buy him the pet. <laughs> <I did. laughs> so he has, it's his phone, you know, and he has, oh my God. he's no just phone. a drift. He is. And you should see it right now. He's, he's just like, I can't imagine. No, he's a, a 16 year old in today's world. A teenager without their phone. That's how you get to him. That's how you get to a teenager. Man. Can't track him. Mm -mm. Can't track him when he drives. My wife's like, we can't let him drive. And I said, well, you know, there was a time we couldn't track him. So uh, I think it'd be all right to let him go to his friend's house or whatever. And she goes, but we can't track him. And it's like, well, <laughs> is that what she does all day? Yeah, she tracks. Sits in front of a big monitor. Yes, she knows where I am at all times. Well, I'm sure she does. The other day, I'll tell you this: I was dropping my car off to get it worked on. And she texted me and she said, I see you're behind the building. Why are you behind the building? <laughs> I mean, man. that's where the drugs are. Yeah. The shaking the tree, boss. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Toilet's broken. Yeah. Hutch. Slinging it out back. Now, yeah. Hutch has an idea of what my son has done to ruin his phone. Go ahead. Hi, P1 Hutch here. Uh, what he did to sign up to be a developer, mm -hmm. you get the iOS software early. Yep. I used to do it when I was younger. Yep. 
And but if you're not a developer, it messes your life up. <laughs> totally, totally. Like he doesn't know what he's doing. You would get the new IS program. It would be great. That's right. But since you're not really a developer, it, it kind of just creates headaches. That's exactly what he said. He did. He said he signed up. So, the test. So Hutch, does he, do, does he need a new phone entirely? Uh, I don't believe so. I never had this problem when I used to do this. Mm. Uh, but I never forgot my. Uh, password that was a, that's that's oh. the problem he can't get back in and so what they have to do now is wipe the flo- phone clean ah. so it'll, he'll get back the same phone but it takes two weeks and they have to wi- it, it won't have any of the stuff on it so mm-hmm. then you know then can he get retrieve what was on the cloud back to it they're trying yes okay that's what takes a lot of time he's like the these uh revamps reboots whatever thank you hutch that's what takes such a long amount of time and they're trying to get all that stuff back from the cloud i wonder if he I wonder how he heard about this. I, you know, I don't know. I think a they, friend said, yeah, or, or they maybe they texted him. He's always getting these a TikTok meme. Could have been that. Could have been a TikTok. Yeah, do this, and you'll get the fir- the all new those, iOS fan. Yeah. and that is messed and everything I, up. And if it would have worked, he would have been the king. It's like I have the new mm-hmm. iOS ahead of everybody I know. Messed everything up for him. He won't and, do it again. You know, and I'll tell you something else. Like his grandmother, who passed away, like eight or nine months ago. She had left him voicemails, which are still on the phone. Mm. And now my wife was crying in the Apple store oh, because dear. it's like, can now we the get the family's crying? They're trying to get this. So the two of them stood there and cried. I wasn't there. <laughs> At <laughs> the <laughs> genius bar, <laughs> they were the genius bar cry. She said, even the little twenty-year-old geniuses were like, "Damn, it's going to be all right." There, you know, there. even even <laughs> they were consoling her. These young geniuses were consoling her at the Apple store. They still make you wait outside to go in at the Apple store? She didn't say. She said there were no masks. I think masks. it's reopened. It has. I think ours is reopened. In, in, in its entirety. She said okay. there were no masks hmm. or anything, and they were standing there. The real tears just coming, just streaming down both their faces. I wonder if the, if it takes so long, two weeks, just because that's how long it takes to, to do that to the system, or if they're so busy they can't get to it until yeah. two weeks from now. I think it's the system. They seem to say it was a, it was a varying time. It was like could be a week to two weeks. It was uh, that they. I think it's the downloading and getting the stuff. What it's, a pain! It's brutal. I mean, it, and uh, from what I hear, he's done some research on it. Samsung has a better alternative. You know, Samsung can help you out. They'll send your you get password it back faster. You get it back, and they'll send your password like to a different device. And Apple won't do it. They could uh, not. They they couldn't get all that done. This is the uh, woman who turned a hundred and ten. And she has, she says. Of course, they asked her the secret. They asked her the secret. First of all, she, uh, they were giving her a big party. She was born July 6, 1911 in West Virginia. Went to West Virginia University. And she was crowned Miss West, Miss West Virginia Beauty Queen when she was 18 years old. So she has lived apparently quite a life. And now she's 110. Uh, so they did a, her name is uh, Alma Call. And now she lives in a retirement home. So they did a story on her. A piece on her where she now lives in Ohio. A little bit here from the reporter and Alma. How do you feel about celebrating this wonderful time with everybody? Oh my goodness. This is the most precious time of my whole life. Which is saying something because Alma turns 110 today. 110? Oh. She had no idea she was turning 110. So I she, get it. She, she, <laughs> a chat <shat> point. <laughs> 110 and she turned like golly she got this is my 19th wedding anniversary on the same day that she turned 110 so she got we got married on her 91st birthday mm. and she's now 110 and yeah. still still kicking still going mm. <laughs> they add well she's kicking she she's still she's there going. she's still she's in a she's in a wheelchair but she's got her faculties pretty well and uh they ask her what's the secret And they have it. One major thing Alma attributes her longevity to are Hershey Kisses. My goodness, if I hadn't had them, I never would have made it. Hershey Kisses, she says, are the key to uh, her longevity. She has at least two or three every day, she says. And if she has to substitute, she'll do it with a little mini Reese's cup. And mm. she always has them. Mm. And Great choking hazards for the uh, the elderly. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> yeah. She got teeth to chew them. You, you I mean, you got to chew them. You couldn't find a more lethal competition. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her one with an almond in it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. You're but right. If, if you're her, should you send her... A lifetime supply. Of course. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, lifetime supply. Here's, here's what does a that consist of? Pack. Yeah. Small pack. What are you going to a day? 